Morning Health Quest. Carla here, coming to you from my home again. We have 60 minute yoga flow this morning, Pilates, Tai Chi, and yoga inspired. So you'll need a mat, two blocks. If you have them, optional to grab something else that would be similar to a block. And if you need a strap, as always helpful as well. I have a soft playlist. Feel free to have one on your own. If not, you might be just able to keep your mind in the background. All right, we're gonna start with some Tai Chi in the center of our mat. So feet are gonna come wide outside hips, coming to a wide root chi. We soften the shoulders. Start to bend the knees slightly, so knees track over toes. And then hands both come shoulder level to your left. We sweep down and up. Stopping at shoulder level, nice and slow and controlled. Happy Friday. So first we learn the move, and then we start to incorporate lots of breath. Inhale through the nose. Deepen into the move, exhale. Again, breathing in. And let that breath go. So we're inhaling lots of energy. And then exhaling any stress that you might be holding on to. A little bit bigger, sink deeper into the legs, and then lift. Again, deepen and rise. Fill the breath. Fingertips graze for maybe. Last one, arms sweep towards the sky. We lower, arms wide. Deepen, and then cross hands through the middle as you lift. Deepen as you swan dive almost, and lift. So as you start to warm, see if you can release the neck and shoulders. Still pressing the knees over the toes. Let that neck release. I'm feeling softness through the fingers. Lots of breath. Let that go. Hold at the top, arms to the corner. We pull, release. Roll through center and reset here. So it's an archer. We draw the bow back, release the bow. Sweep through the middle and lift. Now breathing in. Let the breath go. Inhale to come through midline and exhale to lift. Again, draw, release. So just it's like a single leg lunge. Just a few more, breathe. Ready? Sweep. Hold, hold here. Stepping to the backs of our mats, coming to our sun salutations. A little different today. Shoulders roll back and we clasp hands behind hips. Draw knuckles towards floor. Feet can be hip distance today. Just feel that beautiful opening of your collarbone. Chest nice and proud, lots of breath. Inhale all the positive energy and exhale anything that doesn't need to be here today. Release clasp, hook thumbs. Inhale, arms lift overhead and feel as though you're pulling your thumbs apart. Let the back open, let the chest lift. Now draw the belly in as you bend your knees to guide the heart forward over the thighs. Release the neck. Lots of bend in those legs. Hook thumbs. We inhale to stack spine, coming through the midline. Arms rise towards the sky. We're rolling our mountain. Again, feel as though you're ripping your thumbs into each other. Lots of opening, lots of space. Full breath in. Exhale, draw the belly in, dive. Chest comes to thighs, release hands to floor. Hook thumbs again, release back the spine, lift. Just waking up our spine this morning. Reach a little taller. Now full breath in as you exhale, pull the belly back, let the lead with the chest. Hold here, then hands to shins. We press the shins away, coming to a flat back extension. Tailbone to the crown of the head, nice and long. Tuck in the chin to find length up the back of the neck. 
Full breath in, now exhale again, bend the knees, draw the chest down, release fingertips to the floor, release the neck. We begin our flow. So we walk hands out to a plank, nice and slow. Shoulders over wrists, draw the belly back. Good. Now bend the knees, draw sit bones back towards heels, coming to our first down dog. Lots of bend through the legs. We pedal and start to wake up the backs of our legs. Now fill this movement with breath. Where does this feel good for you today? Maybe you sway the hips a little, getting a little side body stretch. Just giving time and space to your body. Lots of weight through both hands. That's gonna keep your shoulders square. Now pressing back through both heels. You might still have a soft bend in your knees. We unroll our spine, moving forward to our plank pose. Shoulders over wrists, lower the knees, untuck the toes. From here, elbows draw close to ribs as we lower all the way down to the mat. Feel the shoulders rolling back. Feel the elbows locking into your rib cage. Glutes fired up. Tops of feet are resting softly on the floor. Now take a deep breath in. Pressing into the hands, we start to roll our cobra. Exhale, lengthen body down to the mat, and inhale to lift a little bit more. So still squeezing the glutes, protecting the back, and legs are in line with hips. So each time, trying to lift a little bit higher through our cobra, and then controlling our body back down towards the mat. Good, breathe your body up. Exhale your body down. Just warming our body through movement that's gonna help us through this practice. All right, last one here. Tuck your toes, bend the knees, downward facing dog. Good. Hands walking back towards our fold and surrender forward. Take a breath here. You know the moves. Now we begin the flow again. This time you might start to straighten your legs. Some hooking sounds. Inhale, rise. Now in, reach towards the sky. Inhale, exhale, draw the belly in as you swan dive. Release the neck. Breath in, flow as you lengthen from tailbone to crown of head. Let the breath go, pull the belly back. Hands to the floor. Are you ready to walk? Plank. Inch or out. Shoulders over wrists. Option knees down. Elbows in as you lower all the way down. Squeeze the glutes. Roll that shoulder back. Lift. Baby cobra or cobra. Exhale, lower. Toes tuck. Down dog, press the hips up towards the sky, lengthen the back of the legs, walking hands back to your fold. Take a breath, release the neck, keep pulling your belly in, making space for your body. We do the flow again, we pick up the pace just a little, hook the thumbs, inhale, back spine, reach towards the sky, exhaling, belly pulls back, heart towards the Flatten the back, look towards the horizon. Now let the breath go, draw the belly in, release. And we walk our plank, here we go. Nice and slow. This time you might choose to keep the knees lifted as you lower all the way to the mat. Roll the shoulders back, lift the heart, squeeze the glutes, cobra, and tuck the toes under. Pike the hips up towards the sky, down dog. Walking back. Release your fold, take a breath, let the neck hang heavy. Now hook the thumbs, stack, reach, lift the heart, draw belly in, dive. Shins press, full breath in. Full breath out, pull the belly back, release the neck. Take your walk, hands to plank, slow and controlled, keep your hips square. Lock the elbows in, head of shoulder back, lower halfway, squeeze, maybe up dog. Pull the chest through, tuck toes under, pike hips, down dog. Good, take a breath and walk your hands back towards your feet. So we know the moves. We're gonna evolve the sun salutation, coming to sun salutation be a little different. Same sequence, release for a breath. Remembering, Feet under hips is gonna support you a little bit more and it transitions nicely to down dog. So just breathe. 
Let the breath go. Soften up the thumbs. We come back to our mountains, so stack the spine. Chest towards the sky. Exhale, fold, dive chest over thighs. Inhale, hands to shins, press away, flat back, extend. Now exhale, belly lifts as we fold again. You know what to do, walk to plank. Slow and controlled. Hold here, press back, downward facing dog. Now right leg, bend the knees, lunge the leg forward, inside the hand, good. Open twist to knee, lengthen up to the top hand, good. Take a breath. If you're pregnant, twist open to the other direction. Take a breath here, pressing back into that back heel. Hand to floor, press into the hand, back to plank. Take a breath and lower half leg. Squeeze, lift the heart, upward facing dog. Top toes, down dog. Take a breath. Now exhale and start to walk the hands back towards the feet. Little strength builder, stack the spine. Lift the heart, belly lifts, draw it in as you dive. Flat back lengthen, press the shins away, look towards the horizon, look for the sun. Yeah, draw the belly in again as you fold. Walk your to your plank here. Shoulders over wrist. Brace the core, now press back to your dog. This time, bend the knees soft, left leg comes through between two hands to your left thumb. Sink down into the hips as much as possible. Plant your right hand and open towards the other side of the room. Stacking shoulders, lots of breath up to your top fingertips. Sweep hand back to floor, down up to the plank. Elbows lock in, lower. Squeeze glutes, lift the heart through, Op open the chest, and then pipe the hips, tuck the toes, press back into the heels, take a walk, coming to your fold. We've got two more rounds, breathe. A little different this time, inhale, exhale. Let go, inhale, lengthen, press away, exhale. Ready to walk with me? Let's go. Hold here, belly pulls back, and then we down dog. Pike hips up, soft and right leg pumps through to right thumb. Sink into the lunge, open your chest towards me. Soft through the top fingers, take a breath. Sweep hand back to floor. Straightening that front leg any amount, coming to pyramid pose. Lengthen through the spine, nice and lifted stretching the back of the hamstring. Take a breath here. Now sink back into your lunge, hands to floor, plank pose, lower, chaturanga. Lift the heart, open the collarbones, squeeze the glutes, tuck toes, down dog. Walk into your fold. Hold for a breath. Got one more round for you. Stack your spine, hook your thumbs, reach towards the sky. A little taller. Exhale, dive. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, let the breath go. One more walk, let's take it together. Plank pose, feel the core get raised. Down dog. Heels lengthen, bend the knees. Left leg lunge to left thumb. Soften hips towards mat. Right hand ground and we twist away over that left knee. Press into the back heel. Feel the thigh lift. And then sweep the hands back towards the floor. Blocks may help you as you start to straighten that left leg. Any amount. Lifting the belly to help support the spine. Tented fingers. And breathe. Start to bend the knee, hands to floor. Plank pose, one more time, lower halfway. Squeeze, lift, spread your collarbones towards the sky. Tuck your toes, down dog, stay for a breath. Then you might walk your dog again, just to feel the nice length of your calves. 
You might sway your hips to get that beautiful side body stretch. Are you awake? Good. One more breath here. And we walk our feet towards our hands to the middle of our mat. I'm going to turn front on. We're coming to standing strength. So roll your body up to standing pose. Mountain. Any way that you can see me. You might be at the front of your mat, and that's okay. So feet together. Take a breath in. Hands clasp behind hips, and we open the collarbones again. Draw the knuckles towards the floor. Take a breath. Should feel good. We start to sink down to Utkatasana, chair pose. Lowering the knees, tucking the tailbone slightly to pull the belly in. Keeping that chest nice and open, knuckles down towards the floor. This is some strength poses, so breathe. This should feel nice, a little upper body opener. Take your next breath, arms rise, framing face towards the sky. Keep sinking into the hips and pulling the shoulders back. Release, warrior two. Feet step wide, right leg, I'm sorry, left leg in front, back, left, right leg in back. We sink into this pose here, so front knee over ankle, Legs can be in railroad tracks or a little bit further in front or behind. Hands clasp behind hips again, and we wrap them around to our front hip. So this is going to help us keep our shoulder nice and open. Actually, hold on. Here we go. To the back hip. Helps to open our chest, open our shoulder, and keep our body in the midline of our hips. So take a breath. Standing strength. Now, if you want a little bit more, you might choose to lift your heel. If you do, you have to shift your knee forward so that it's tracking over your ankle. Take a breath. Option to keep the heel grounded. Lots of activation through the upper body. Pressing our hips forward, of course. We extend, keep the wrap, arm comes overhead. Think about drawing that straight line. Sink into the legs, option, lowering the heel. Breathe. Feeling the shakes yet? I hope so. Breathe in, Sun Warrior. Now take this bottom arm and wrap it around the front hip so you can keep that nice hip center alignment. Take a breath, press the sole of the foot away in the back leg, and fill the body with breath. Release, Warrior One. Hips and shoulders turn. Squaring off towards the front of the mat. Press into that back leg and sink into the front leg. Knee over ankle, hands wrap, clasp behind hips, and we wrap them around the front of your body, so your right hip. Good. So now this is pulling our left shoulder back to help us keep our chest open. Again, keep the sink in the legs. This is where the flow gets fun. So find your balance. Take a breath. We're moving to warrior three, keeping the clasp. So a little hop forward with the back leg, step, and then start to lift that back leg. Option to keep it grounded or lift it if you have it in you today. Keeping hands here, or if you want a little bit more, knuckles towards the sky. Soften in that left leg. Breathe. Let the breath go, coming to a crescent lunge. Step long, step back. Sink into the legs, knuckles towards the floor. Feel the opening in the chest and then arms rise towards the sky. Soften that back leg down towards the mat as you come to baby back bend. Open your collarbones. Release. Quick shake. We get to do the other side. Coming back to our chair pose. So soles of feet together. Under hips, mountain, knuckles towards the floor. Feel that beautiful clasp, opening the chest. Take a breath in and then start to sink back. Now right away, consciously, tailbone tucks slightly and we sink a little lower this time. Breathe. Next breath, arms reach towards the sky. Frame your face, your beautiful faces. Good, feel the opening in your back. Warrior 
your two pose, right leg forward, left leg back. Now you know your option to adjust the feet any way that feels comfortable for your body. Always front knee over ankle, and then we turn our hips to the midline. Hands clasp, and we draw them towards our front hip. That's gonna keep us helping to pull that left shoulder back. And you remember, take a breath. Maybe today, you lift the heel high. If not today, maybe tomorrow. Just breathe here. We're building strength and stability. This is good for us. Good. One more breath. Keep pressing that foot away. Now take the arm to the other side of the body. We extend our warrior, arm overhead, lower the heel, or maybe you bring arm down towards ankle. Your choice. This is just a little bit more challenging. Just breathe, keep rolling that top shoulder back. One more breath. Let the breath go. We take it back to warrior one. So reset, squaring hips towards the front of the mat. Front knee over ankle, sole of leg presses, press through that sole of the foot. Hips are square, we interlace hands, wrap them towards me, towards the front of your left hip. Pull that shoulder back, right shoulder back. Building strength, breathe. Holding these poses, starting to build up lactic acid in our muscles, that's where change happens. Breathe, maybe you're starting to get a little glow. You ready to fly? Good, let's do it. Little hop. Option to take your warrior three and stay grounded. That's perfectly fine today. Maybe your hands come to mats for, or blocks for more stability. Try to float that back leg up. Deep bend in the supporting leg, find your balance. If you wobble, come back in. Remember the challenge, knuckles to sky, belly pulled in, lift. Bubbles welcome. One more breath. Let the breath go, lunge. Long step back, sink into the back leg. Knuckles towards floor, hips directly under shoulders. Big breath in, arms towards sky. Crescent lunge, frame up brace, and then deepen, lift the heart. Let the breath go. Together. Shake it out. Woo. Let that go. Moving to our balanced pose. More strength building, but I promise it's beautiful. Back to chair pose. So feet come together, roll the shoulders back, knuckles towards the floor, open the chest. If you've got it in you today, lift the heels and sink back. She's mean. It's Friday. Glue the knees together. Tuck the tail, option to ground the heels. We begin the balance flow. Arms sweep to knee, breathing in, reach. Soft through the fingers. Let the breath go as you sweep arms behind body. Keep the deepness in your legs, keep the heel lift if you can. Keep pulling the belly back, we sweep forward again. Cryptic. Soft and controlled. You shaking it? I am. Once more back, breathe. Softening the gaze to the floor, helping your balance. Lower the heels, lift. Figure four. Left leg crosses over right knee. Right, left ankle, right knee. Soft bend in the knee is going to help you find the pose. Hands clasp behind hips. Let the chest open and start to sink down. Breathe. Let the hip open, we flow again. Cryptic hands to me. Reach. Now breathe, let the arms sweep behind the body. We're challenging our balance by moving our arms. Breathe once more. Sweep behind. 
How good is it gonna feel when we lower this leg? Unwind, Woo, shake. One more time. Feet together, mountain. Hands clasped behind the hips. Roll shoulders back. It's challenging this morning, but guess what? Lift the heels. We need this. And start to sink deep in. Pull the belly back. That's gonna help keep the tail tucked. We go a little quicker. And back. Keep the softness. Remember, you can lower the heels forward. And back. Lower the heels, figure four. Right leg, hook that right ankle over left knee. Figure four, open the chest, knuckles towards hips. Sink into the hips a little deeper. Keep that front foot nice and flexed, that's gonna protect your knee. Find that beautiful glute stretch here. Bend your flow, sink, arms to knee. Arms sweep back, open the chest. Again, forward, and back. Good, now feet come together. Shoulders roll back, hands back by hips. Lift the heels high. Good, take a breath. Start to dive the chest forward, lifting the arms up the back of the body. Divers pose with shoulder stretch. Heels stay lifted if possible. Feel the stretch of the back of the legs. Opening the shoulders, let the chest come as far forward as possible. Good, breathe. You can lower the heels here, just take the shoulder stretch. Release the neck. And then release the hands to the mat. Woo! Give the legs a little walk. We're moving into hip openers, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm coming to the back of my mat so you can see side on the pose. Wherever you're comfortable, you'll need space to come to a lunge. All right, take a breath, right leg. Walk yourself forward to lunge that leg forward to the front right thumb. Back leg lowers towards the mat. Ah, breathe. So we're coming into hip openers here. Lizard lunge to be exact. So. With that said, if you have blocks, I truly welcome you to grab them at this point. I brought mine down today. If not, a couple books, anything that can help you elevate from the floor just a little bit. Some of you might not need assistance in your liz lizard and that's okay. So I'm gonna bring my blocks to the inside edges of my right foot. I'm sinking my hips down as low as I can. This is a pose that we evolved to and you're not, you might not get it every day. So if you'd like to stay lifted, that's perfectly fine. But right now what we're doing is we're softening into the hip. That's why I'm talking so much, to give you time to ease into this pose. So again, take a breath. My blocks are the inside edge of my right foot. That's helping me keep my foot parallel to the front of the mat and it's helping me lock my knee in towards my chest. I'm gonna breathe my body down, walking down to my elbows. Now this might not be for you today, but it's something just to work towards. You might bring your elbows down to the mat, and that's awesome. But I'm using assistance with my block because that's helping me keeping my knee locked in towards my body. And I am breathing lots of space into my hips. I hope you are too. Keep the chin tucked slightly to keep the neck lifted. And take a breath. It's good for us. We hold this pose for one more breath should feel pretty good. Give your toes a little wiggle That's so they're not squeezing your mat. Give your fingers a little wiggle and smile. All right, move your blocks forward if you're using them. Hands plant to the inside edge of that right foot. Tuck the left toe, press back into the heel, and then shoot that right leg up towards the sky, coming to um, three-legged dog or yoga split. Leg lifts, heel up towards the sky as much as possible and then bend the leg and let that knee fall open. Keeping the hands even, keeping even weight to sh so shoulders stay square. Take a breath. Exhale, lower that leg back down towards your, your dog and just take a little walk for a moment. We get to do the other side. 
So remember, yoga is a journey. Be careful with your body and just be appreciative for what your body's doing for you every day. Breathe, left leg comes to left thumb. Right knee down towards mat. Take a breath. Remember, we ease into this pose. So if you have your prop, reset it here. To the inside edge of left foot and then just next to it, parallel. Just breathing space into your hips, letting your hips soften down towards your mat. Remembering that this might be enough for you today and that's okay. Just breathe. Trying to keep that front knee over the ankle, that's going to help keep you protected. Lots of breath here. So we hold this pose a little longer because our body needs more time to ease into this pose. A lot of times with these my yoga flow practice, which I don't generally teach at the gym, I teach body flow, but I also teach yoga, which I don't do in this sequence of events. But this class I move a little quicker through the poses, so I'm giving you time to feel the opening here because I think it's important. So if you're ready, maybe bringing it down to the elbows. Again, remembering elbows to blocks or floor is okay. Keep pulling that left knee in towards your body and ungrip your deft toes. Ungrip them, give them a wiggle, ungrip your fingers. Soften your face muscles. Maybe just have a gentle smile. Maybe close your eyes and just allow your body to soften even more. Good, one more breath. All right, guys, move your blocks out of the way. If you're using them, hands to floor. Tuck, right toe, press into the mat. Back to three-legged dog, so left leg towards the sky. Press into the hands, open your shoulder girdles. Take a breath, and then as you exhale, bend that left knee, let it fall towards right shoulder. That's gonna give you a nice hip opener. Take a breath. Exhaling, foot back towards mat. Good, and then walk your feet towards your hands, coming down to the mat for modified half lotus pose. Take a break. Sitting down here, tucking left foot into right thigh. Right foot's gonna come crossed over left knee. Flex the foot, and if this isn't for you today, come to easy pose, feet just crossed in front. Otherwise, we flex the foot to support the knee. Now my hips are not quite open just yet, so you'll see that with this next stretch, maybe I can get my hip a little closer to the floor. So take a breath, what do I have here? Just find your sit bones, anchor, arms breathing up towards the sky, lengthening through the crown of the head, breathe space up the spine. Draw the belly in as we hinge forward any amount. So tented fingers, maybe hands to blocks. Otherwise, we let the body just surrender as much as possible. So where can you let go? Shoulders, neck. Maybe give your head a little nod from side to side. Yes and no. Just feel that neck release. Tented fingers walk us back up, root down through that right hand, and then lengthen up for the, I'm sorry, length, root the left, lengthen the right. Get that little side twist here. Take a breath. Hand to mat. Just twist the other way. Press into the supporting hand. That's going to give you a nice twist up the spine. One more breath. All right, guys. Unhook the feet. Your bottom leg stays at 90 degrees. Coming to pigeon pose. We send that back leg back. Option. So stay here at 90-90. That's okay. If you'd like to lengthen out the back leg. Let that leg lengthen towards the mat, any amount. You can take a block and place it under your hip if you're not fully meeting the floor just today. Taking a breath, keeping that front leg, front foot um, flexed, I can't talk today. Lift the chest with breath. 
widen your collarbones, and then as you exhale, maybe you melt your body down towards the mat. It might feel good to make fists and let your forehead rest. If you want, you can make a little pillow for your forehead with your palm just here inside the tops of your hands. Or maybe you let your body just fully surrender your forehead to mat. So just breathe space into that left hip. Nowhere to be right now. Nowhere to be but here. Here with your breath, with your mind and your body. If you'd like, you can walk yourself back up, taking hold of that bag, like coming to a hamstring stretch. So pull the heel in down towards the butt. Keep the chest lifted with breath, or maybe you come down to the elbow. Important, keep rolling that top right hip towards the left heel, keeping the hips square. Good, release the foot. Press into the hands. Downward facing dog. Let the hips lift, walk your dog, release the energy that we just built in our legs. We're gonna do pigeon on the other side. So this time, right leg comes through. I know we have to do the lotus first, so come back down to your mat. Right foot into left thigh. Left foot crosses on top, other way. Left foot, right foot. Flex foot, I don't know, I forget which one we did. Do the opposite. Take a breath in. Arms towards the sky. Full breath out as we fold. Softening the shoulders. Always remembering to do the opposite leg, even if I'm telling you the wrong one. <laughs> you know your body. Good, walk yourself back in. Anchor right hand. Breathe your body up towards the left side of the room. Feel that beautiful twist. Softening the shoulders. Left hand to mat, breathe. Right arm reaches the diagonal. Breathe. On your next exhale, lower, and we come back to pigeon pose. Right leg in front, option 90-90. Right away, you might decide to lengthen that back leg open. Front leg, foot flexed. Keeping the chest lifted here, finding your form first. Tented fingers, take a breath in. And then exhale the body down towards your mat. Lay down your options. You can rest on your, forehead, on your hands. Just letting your body surrender here. like the hamstring stretch, you walk yourself back up and then reach for that back foot, drawing the heel in towards the butt. Option to always try mermaid here. Maybe you lengthen down to your elbow, pulling that heel in a little closer towards your glutes. Release the foot, hands to floor, downward facing dog, walk it out, just for a breath. Then lower down to your knees, and we're coming down to our backs. So anyway, roll it forward onto your hips, grab behind your thighs, and roll your body down towards your mat. Coming into a little ab work, Pilates if you will. Options always at any point. So taking a breath in, knees stacked over ankles, widen the shoulder blades so that you have lots of back engagement into the mat. Belly pulls back, that's gonna give you that nice supported spine. From here, we take a big breath in, lift the left leg to stack over hip, 
and then lift the right. Good. From here, toes and balls of feet together. Open the knees, coming to frog. So remembering to keep the knees stacked over the hips as much as possible and pulling the belly back. We extend out to the 45 degree angle and then draw the knees back open. And then again, extend and then open. So hand on the floor is gonna give us lots of support and lots of breath is gonna to help to feel the movement. So exhale as you lengthen and then sip that breath in as you pull the knees back. Good, lengthen, straighten as much as possible and then open the knees, stack over hips, good. Just a few more. Now, if you want more, option to C crunch here and then lengthen the legs and then lift here. Exhale, inhale, sit that breath in, keep funneling the belly back, exhale, and then inhale. You got two more. Lift the shoulder blades as high off the mat as you can. Last one. In and out. All right, hands back to mat, bend the knees. Reset if you've wiggled off the mat at all. We scoop legs down towards mat, extend to the 45, stack legs over hips, and then bend. Scoop, lift, bend. So it can be as big of a range as your body has in you today. So if you think about it, exhale, inhale, good. Scoop, keep drawing the belly back. You should start to feel this. And if not, teach me your ways. <laughs> We've got two more. Scoop, lift, Bend, last one, scoop, lift, bend. Now keep the legs at this angle, lift the shins just a little, separate the knees, and we're gonna lift and lower, crossing. All right, good. So any pace, as long as your tailbone stays glued to the mat and your lower back. Good, breathe. Lots of lower core work here today, which we all need, especially my mamas. <laughs> That is too, yes. Breathe. Couple more. You should feel your inner thighs. You should feel the core. And you should certainly feel breath flowing through the body. All right, guys, hold here. Bend the knees. Restack them over the hips. You're gonna get mad at me. Curl head, neck, and shoulders up towards your hips and start to pump the arms. Pilates 100. Good. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Can you pump? Can you lift a little higher? Pull the belly button back towards the spine. Keep breathing. If you want a little more, lengthen the legs out. But just keep breathing. Keep pulling the belly in. Exhale. Keep reaching through those fingertips, drawing the ribs up towards the hips. Exhale. Last set. Inhale. Exhale, curl head down, bend the knees, draw the feet down towards your mat, good. Lengthen the arms, press into the soles of the feet, coming to a bridge pose. This should feel nice. Knees stacked in line with hips, collarbones wide. So from here, we lift, lower the hips, lift. Lower and lift. Just a little glute fire to counter our core work. Good, keep drawing the hips up towards the sky. Nice open shoulders, nice wide collarbones. Breathe. Get two and one more. Good. Roll the spine back down towards the mat. Hug the knees in. Give your back a little rock, and then rock and roll yourself up to sit. We come down to forearm. Um, sorry. We come down to um, tabletop. Knees under hips, shoulders under wrists. We're coming to pointer. So pulling the belly back up towards the spine, lengthening up through the crown of the head. Lots of length here. So from this, we're gonna do pointer to the diagonal. So right arm, left leg extend out to the diagonal. Ready? Open and in. Open 
and bend. So the focus is trying to keep the hips and shoulders square towards your mat and draw the elbow in towards the knee, really feeling the scoop of the belly. Feel the belly pull up. Just a few more. You can feel your oblique start to crunch. Last one this side. Reset shoulders, wrists, knees, hips. Lengthen left arm, left leg, draw it in. So shoot the leg and arm out the diagonal and then squeeze your belly in. Lift and pull. Good. Little fire in our abs and back to get us ready for the big weekend. <laughs> Got any plans? Mother's Day. Good. All right, hands to floor, knee down. We go front, side, front, reset, other side. Straight ahead, diagonal, straight, and set. So you really have to focus here on keeping nice and square towards your mat. Breathe. Feel the glute, squeeze, lift, in and down. Almost there. Reach. Last one. Reach. All right, guys, lower down. All the way to your mat. Open thumbs up towards the sky and flutter kicks. All right, legs in line with hips, chest lifts as high as possible. Take a breath. Last bit of work. Squeeze everything, lift the chest a little higher, kick a little faster. Breathe. Almost there. Four, three, two, one, release. Press back, child's pose, knees wide. Soften through the hips. Give your hips a little rock from side to side. Take a breath. Feel the release of the hips and the lower back. I'm gonna switch our playlist, so stay in your child's pose. Slowing down the practice for the rest of the time. We get to share. All right, take a breath. Walk your hands back under your shoulders. Press your chest up. Coming to some twists to end our practice, and then we'll stretch our hamstrings. So right leg is going to step forward to the outside edge of right hand. We've been here before, so you should feel nice and open through your hips. Option to take hold of your blocks again to the inside edge of that right foot if you need them today. Actually, yeah, keep both. Keep pulling that knee in towards the body. Take a breath, actually just use one block. Left hand to block. Take a breath as you twist towards knee, opening that right arm up towards the sky. Good. Keep the hips softening down towards the mat. If you'd like, you can take that top arm and wrap it behind your hip like we did in the beginning of the practice. That's going to help you keep that shoulder rolling back. You might want to tuck the toe and then lift the knee up off the mat. Just breathe. Arm floats back up towards the sky, coming back down. Take that right hand to the block now or to the mat on the inside edge of the right foot and then lower the knee down towards the mat and reverse your twist. Open that left arm up towards the sky. Use the right elbow to press that right knee open. Good, breathe. If you'd like to challenge, you lift the toe. It's a little bit, a little bit more challenging on this side. Good, lower the hand back down towards the mat. Draw that left leg in, right leg on top, seated twist. Me getting it right today. All right, so option here, you know, I always tell you this foot hooks, outside edge of calf, or you extend this bottom leg long if you need for more length. 
Otherwise, hug that left leg, I'm sorry, right leg, reaching like last month today, in towards the chest, right hand behind hip, and we twist, we revolve. So looking over the right shoulder, and this is where practice slows down. So this is where you get the chance to close your eyes and just feel that beautiful revolve of your spine. So think about drawing the back of your head up more towards the sky to lengthen the back of your neck. And just slow something down. What could that be? Your thoughts, your breath. Taking class, outside edge of right foot. Lift the leg, keeping soft, bend it in the knee. Right arm floats to the back of the room and we use the leg as a lever to deepen the twist. Let that top leg come back 90-90. Legs stacked. Right hand behind hip. Breathe your body up, coming to spiral twist. So press hips forward. Right arm reaches towards the sky, finding length from fingertip to toe. Pressing hips forward, letting the chest open. You could stay here, but if you want a little bit more, rotate your chest up towards the sky. And keep pressing the hips forward as much. Unravel, lower down, good. We're gonna do the other side. So coming down, back, left leg comes through to kneeling lunge. Option to take hold of your block again if needed. Remember, we're coming to that twist. I'm gonna be facing the back side of the room, but you know I'll coach you through it and you know the move. So right hand to block or mat. Hug the left knee in towards the chest. Take a breath and then float the right left arm up towards the sky. Really press into the mat or the block so you take the pressure out of that right shoulder. Maybe you take the bind, wrapping that left arm around the right hip. Maybe you tuck the toe and lift the knee, sinking into the hips a little deeper. Just breathe. Lower the knee, unravel the arm up towards the sky, and then back to the center of the left foot. Option to choose to use the block. Take a breath, opening the chest up now towards the knee, reversing your twist, using that left elbow to press that left knee away. Good, breathe, space into the hips. If you want more, tuck the toe, press the leg to straighten. Maybe you bind. Might feel nice to open up the chest even more. Arm towards the sky, knee to mat, hand to floor, remove your block, tuck, and twist. So now my left leg is on top of my right. Remember your choice. You can choose a different option to unhook or straighten. Hug the left leg in towards the chest. Left leg, oh, hands behind hips. And then we take the twist. So soften the shoulders down. We don't need them here. Close your eyes. Just feel the breath flow in through the nose and back out through the nose. Allowing yourself to deepen into this pose, really finishing the pose. If you want a little bit more, you take class with the outside edge of the left foot, lengthen the leg, keeping that soft bend, left arm towards the back of the room. Use the leg and the arm as a lever to find more rotation through your spine. But still allow yourself to be soft here. Knowing that the hard part is over. Good, 
take a breath, let the breath go as you lower the leg. 90-90, left leg behind. Right hand towards the mat behind hips. Breathe the body up, coming back to that spiral twist. Lifting the chest, remembering reaching away as much as possible. Feel the side body open. A little bit more, we lift the heart towards the sky, almost coming to a back bend. Hips still press forward. And then carefully unravel your twists. Grabbing a sweatshirt or socks here, moving down to our mat. Coming side on. Just a couple practices, a couple poses to finish here. Taking hold behind your thighs, rolling back down to your mat. Giving yourself a gentle hug and rock from side to side. awesome job today. I appreciate you so much. I'm so grateful to be able to do these practices with you from my home. I'm in a happy baby pose. So knees start to fall down towards ribs. We take hold of outside edges of feet, inside or maybe shins, wherever your body is today. We have lots of hip opening. So this should be a nice little couple ending poses to your practice. So think about drawing the tailbone down towards the mat and then softening the knees down towards the ribs. Maybe rocking. Good, you might hook the toes and start to breathe length up the back of the thighs. Coming back to happy baby and just breathing the legs straight. And then bend, good. Let's do two more, lengthen. And then release. run out of time with you guys, but soles of feet come together, coming to bound angle pose. Letting the legs lower down towards the mat, the feet touch the floor, hips come open, shoulder blades nice and open on your mat, letting your belly pull back down towards the spine, opening palms up to the outside edges of your mat, and just allowing gravity to take your legs a little closer down towards the floor. Letting the eyes fall closed. And just taking the next minute or two to allow yourself presence, space, mind-body connection, being aware of what we just did. Maybe just taking one more full breath in through the nose, inhaling all the confidence, all the beauty, all the power that we need to get through these days. And just letting the exhale be the energy we've created since we've already exhaled all the negativities. And just allowing your legs to straighten to the outside edges of your mat. Ankles fall open, nice openness through the hips. And just allowing yourself to stay for a few breaths here. Surrendering any thoughts that might be blocking you from this moment. And allowing yourself permission to just be. Good with your breath. And softness into your body. One more breath, and in your time, find your way up to a seated position, joining me on your mat if you're ready. Otherwise, I invite you to stay in Savasana for as long as possible. But we're going to end this practice with a cleansing breath. Arms circle up overhead, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Once more, inhale and exhale, hands to the heart. Thank you for practicing with me today. I miss you guys. Namaste.